Uh, third and eight, they do have some wide receivers, but this is a nice predictable situation. Pump fake, and oh man, he just goes down. There's a fumble, he goes down, and just a lot of good things happen for the Bobcats here. Oh man, Grant Carnahan really smacked him. He just, he upended him. So Carnahan with just a huge sack on the quarterback. Ball got away, fumbled, um, and then they picked it up, but they couldn't do anything with it because the Bobcats just great gang tackling. And that was the third Mason City um, offensive series, and the Bobcats had it all figured out. Number 31, they've got some good wide receivers, Wolf Ransom, but this quarterback, this Kyle Anderson, he's really come on, and uh, he's really made all the difference in the world for the Ames High Little Cyclones. Okay, the second game. The ball's at the 20. Nice blocking by the Dodgers, but he fumbles the ball, and the Bobcats get it. Uh, the Bobcats should have that. Again, Owen hurt his ankle last week against Valley, so I don't know how effective that will make him as a running back or as a runner. He's rushed for 1,024 yards. Not sure where that one was going. Second down and seven from the Warrior 37. Vance on him and then he gets popped by Carnahan. So they brought some pressure. Uh, Vance Thompson didn't get much there. He's been very good when he's able to cut back, and that time the Bobcat defense never gave him a chance to cut back. Second and ten. Okay, second and ten. That's an easy pick for the Marshalltown Bobcats, and he may score. Uh, Ames, uh, Ames has had a problem this year fumbling and throwing picks. That calmed down for them last week against Waukee, but tonight the interception they threw to Lovin is the difference in this ball game. Okay, now we have a third and predictable. This is the first time tonight, I think, that Ames has been in this third down and long situation. So the Bobcat defense holds on first and second down. Now let's see what happens here. Uh, Keep your eye on France and number eight, the wide receiver who used to be the quarterback. Throws a wobbler up and it's a, you know, they did sack chance in the end zone, but they just are having a hard time stopping anything and stopping all the weapons Marshtown has, and then chance can hurt you with the legs. So, don't want to give up a cheap one here at 65 seconds left here. Quarterbacks are to try to get into the secondary. Um, and he he does a nice job. You just got to give him credit. So only about a one yard gain and an incomplete pass. And he goes nowhere. He was written down by Grant Carnahan. We have nine on the uh, play clock, nine on the, sh they may get another playoff. Good pursuit by the Bobcats, and he's lucky if he got back to the line of scrimmage. But you gotta do that every time. Carnahan with good pursuit. So once in a while, he's dragging people with him. And not just person, but people, as in more than one. off this time flood and keeping it was Hudson and he paid for that mistake because he lines up losing a yard and a half back to the 40. Now Grant Carnahan makes a stop on that play and Alexander was back there. So here we go first down and 10 for the Maroons. Now they move from left to right as we view the action and off flood left side. Ty is hit in the backfield and driven back. He lost a yard back to 
the 38-yard line. Now, Carnahan and Gonzalez, the guys up on the uh, defensive line of scrimmage, put the hurt on Flood that play. Second.